while the players are waiting in the wings for the second of our finals. And Matsutomo and Takahashi, the number one seeds, but my goodness, tough opposition in the reigning world and Olympic champions, Tiang Ching and Zhao Yunlei. So uh, the number one seeds, Matsutomo and Takahashi, all 12 uh, tournaments, five finals in the Super Series this year, including their first ever Super Series title that was at home in Japan. For the reigning world and Olympic champions, Tang Ching and Zhao Yunlei, a full finals from the last five Super Series tournaments. Led out by Ayaka Takahashi, the former world number ones, Mizaki Matsutomo. Became world number ones on the 30th of October earlier this year. Spent four weeks as world number ones but from the early stages of the Super Series, uh, they became the world number ones and they've remained there ever since. The world and Olympic champions, Tian Qing and Zhao Yunlei. And considering their status as world and Olympic champions, it's in a way a bit of a surprise that this is their first ever the Super Series Finals final. Twice previously, they've been semi-finalists, 2011 and 2012. You, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah. so, the Chinese pair have chosen yeah. to... Yeah. Serve. So the number one seeds from Japan. Misaki Matsutomo, the 22 year old on the right as we look at them. Ayaka Takahashi on the left. Second straight year that they finished the uh, destination Dubai, the Super Series standings at number one after the 12 tournaments. They are currently the world number two, as you can see, but it's quite extraordinary. Fifth consecutive year that they finished in the top nine on the Super Series standings. And when you consider they're 22 and 24 years of age, that is remarkable. Five finals from their 12 tournaments uh, this year, one title. And as far as their uh, matches are concerned, well, they finished on top of Group A, despite uh, the fact that they lost on Friday the last of their matches against Zhang Ye Na and Kim So Young. In fact, they were 16-11 up in that second game, but still managed to lose it 23-21. Semi-final yesterday, well, that was a marathon match, as you can see, an hour and 38 minutes against the identical twin sisters, Lu Ying and Lu Yu. So to their opponents, Tiang Ching, the double Olympic champion. I said Tiang Ching, double Olympic champion. I meant Zhao Yunlei, didn't I? Yes, you did. Yes. And Zhao Yunlei, of course, double world champion at the World Championships earlier this year. So she is a remarkable player. Tiang Ching is 28, as indeed is her partner. Well, this is the sixth final in total for Zhao Yunlei, having been in four previous mixed doubles finals. So as far as they're concerned, they topped Group B. And on the Wednesday, they beat their compatriots in three games, the twin sisters. On Thursday, they got a walkover because sadly the Indonesians on day one uh, Miswari got injured and was able, unable to take any further part. On Friday, they beat the number two seeds, Reika Kakiwa and Mayuki Maeda, 
in two games. Semi-final yesterday. Now, I was surprised at how convincing that was. Uh, Jung Kyung Ung and Kim Han are only managing 18 points in total. So our umpire for this second final is Anang Sukarja and Jakob Simberg of Denmark is our service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm arrived Misato Matsutomo Ayaka Takashi, Japan. On my life, Tianqing, Zhao Junle, China. Zhao Junle is a suit to Ayaka Takahashi. Love all play. Well, these two pairs will know each other extremely well because this is the 13th meeting between the two of them. Uh, but the world and Olympic champions of the previous 12 have won nine of them, including the last two. The last time they met was in the final of the Hong Kong Super Series, 21-13, 21-13 it was on that occasion. But it wasn't so long ago that the Japanese pair uh, beat the Chinese combination. It was in the final of the Asian Games women's team competition, and that was in three marathon games no we're already seeing a long rally here Morton what was it 147 was the longest rally yesterday or was it 148 I can't remember yeah, I can't remember but it was something like that it was amazing they, c they can keep it going for that long oh, that's oh. landed well in. yeah indecision one love I've been sitting here and thinking, and can you explain to me why this women's doubles was not the first one on, as Sao Yun Lei is playing the last one as well? Um, I suspect it might be because of our VIP guests. Uh, not entirely sure, but uh, it has been absolutely wonderful to have the presence of his Highness Sheikh Hamlin bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum coming to this Bal event. We've talked about it earlier in the week, and I refrained from saying anything because I thought they must be mighty sure about that to make a challenge at one love yeah. in a final. Oh. And, and but love. the line judge was proved correct. And yeah. I just find it extraordinary. Yeah, it, it seems a bit of a waste, doesn't it? Yeah. It's okay to use them, but you've you got to be mighty sure. Exactly. It, especially this early in the match. Because it could be really crucial later on if you don't have any, any challenges left. For love. Well, there was so much talk. I don't know if you remember. I think it was one of the Masters events in America earlier this year. Uh, tennis final with Djokovic against Federer and Djokovic challenged on the very first point of the match and there was so much discussion and so many people talking about it but tennis players get three challenges per set plus an extra one if they go uh, love. to the tiebreaker as well we only have two challenges in badminton so they're so precious uh, to two do challenges that in a match in a match so you know at one love i do not understand it you just have to be so sure yeah and what a good start for the japanese combination here five love up 
playing some good attacking badminton and uh, seen on a few occasions already that Matsutomo is uh, intercepting and playing winners which is something that we discussed yesterday that she doesn't like too much Oh, it's been a great start by the Japanese pair. And Morton, we have to take note of the fact that the Japanese pair, only one of their matches has been under the hour mark. That was 59 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and 45 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> They've played an hour and eight minutes, an hour and 12 minutes, and yesterday an hour and 38 minutes. And as far as the Chinese pair, well, they had an hour and 13 minutes on Wednesday. Yeah, that's a long time ago. They then had Thursday off because they got a walkover. And then Friday's match and yesterday's semi-final between the matches there, they haven't been on court since day one as long as the one semi-final that the Japanese played yesterday. Yeah. It, it, should, it should make a difference. Yeah. So... Sepisova. Six, two. But you were discussing yesterday about the Japanese pair and just how fit they are. They are very, very fit, and Matsutomo is a, a former singles player, and you, you, you can see that she's used to. Now, yeah, what was that about? Do you know what Six, I think? Two. I think that that call on the line, I think it was correct, but it was very close. And I think Zhao Yun Lei was really considering to challenge that one as well. But I think she changed her mind because she knew she's only got one left. Mm. And uh, thereby, within the first five minutes of the match, they've lost both challenges yeah. if she's done it. And I think that confused her a little bit and then she didn't know whether she was uh, going to receive or not. But yes, coming back to the Japanese and the fitness, yes, it's an extremely fit pair. And they, they play like this. We've seen them, I've seen them for 12 months now. And every single tournament they, they play like this. They have long, long rallies and long matches. And uh, I've never seen it. It's becoming a fitness problem to them. No. Oh, that's clever. to see that more from Matsutomo. Sepisova, that seven, I have been three. looking for this week and for 12 months. That is wonderful to see how she's actually stepping into this one. Yes. And really punching it down the line and playing a very good counter-attacking shot and winning it. I have been looking for that for such a long time. Excellent shot. Perfect. to intercept as well she's and been listening to me from yesterday <laughs> <laughs> she has i'm sure i'm convinced <laughs> the coaching staff has been on it no server short that is solo for eight.
Both set this solo. Well, they worked extremely hard in that rally. Did the number one seeds, Matsutomo and Takahashi. But I think they're onto something here. In all honesty, I think that Chan Ching is a little bit underrated in this women's doubles on the Chinese combination because I actually think she's better than Sao Yun Lei. In women's doubles? In women's doubles. And it comes a lot down to the fact that her mobility is much better than Sao Yun Lei. If, if you notice the, the attacking lift that came once, it was Sao Yun Lei that got caught on it. On many occasions, you see that it's a Chang Ching that's coming in and covering the short ones for Xiao Yun Lei as well. And uh, Xiao Yun Lei's mobility moving around on the court is not half as good as her partner's. Mm, that's very, very interesting. Where she's standing now, not now, but just before at the net, she's outstanding. She is fantastic at the net. But if look at that, if you really have to move her uh, and she's got mm. to cover a lot, look at that, who's taking it? She yeah. doesn't even make and and make that. a move to do it. Yeah. Well, that's a missed opportunity. But it is interesting, Morton, because Six, I can remember nine. Lee Yong Bo saying some time ago that he really rated Tiang Ching because he said she's a flexible player, uh, a good character, she's got good style and she can play with anyone. And I know that she's won a considerable number of Super Series uh, titles, 14, Six, nine. with four different partners. Yeah, that's good statistics. Yeah. That's very good. And here, the, the Chinese combination really lucky to get away with that because had Matsutoma done the same here, down the line, as what she did on the previous one, it would have been completely open court. Yeah. Well, it may have been an error, Morton, but I did like that shot. Yeah, I, I liked it as well. It's, it's adventurous, and uh, for, for Chang Ching, it's, it's not so adventurous because she's, she's very good technically as well. Uh, but I like the way the Japanese were kind of moving her around on that baseline, really also forcing, not forcing, but helping the mistake, if you can say that. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, the on the block from Zhao Yun Lei. 
and it means that the Japanese pair go to the mid-game interval with a three-point advantage. I think the Japanese are determined to make this a long match and really challenge Sayun Lei on, on the physical side of it. I'm convinced. They have a game plan. Magnificent trophies, aren't they? So the three point advantage for Matsutomo and Takahashi. 11, 8. And what play. you say they have a game plan? Can't help but wonder whether the Chinese coach Liu Yong has asked his players to change ah! their game plan. So this is all Yes, uh, perhaps, and let's see, because when they won in Hong Kong, it's, it's the same match as what we see now, when the Chinese won in Hong Kong, it was because that uh, Chan Ching was playing such a strong attacking game, and she actually managed to force her way through, and she's done it twice already now, in the first two rallies here, after the mid-game interval. Yeah. I have to say, it did occur to me in the the first phase of this game that they were not being as attacking as I was expecting them to be, Chinese pair. Well, here we've got Tan Ching in the, in the picture. But yet again, interesting, isn't it? Try to look at Sao Yun Lei. Yeah. She's even backing. She's going backwards. Yeah. So. So. It's going long. Sepisola, 13, 11. Oh, that was nice. Oh, indecision. Seven solo, twelve thirteen. Now Tian Ching really putting that away well. 
She did very well indeed. They really have come good at the end of the year, haven't they, this Chinese pair? I was uh, sitting thinking about it because um, obviously China has got a lot of pairs. Um, did they have five so in the top ten? That's right. Yeah. And, and, and somehow I'm not convinced this is the best pair they have. Mm. Now, you and I watched with enormous interest... At the Uber Cup. At the Uber Cup, because Xiao Yunlei played with one Xiao Li. Xiao Li, yes. And we were blown away by it. Yeah. So it was the opposition, incidentally. <laughs> 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 Absolutely, yes. And, but I'm now questioning in my mind, because I've, I've got it quite settled in my mind that that was perhaps the pair that they should go for, form mm. a new partnership. But given what you've just said about Tiang Ching is actually the better women's doubles player out of the two players on court. That's what I think. That's my personal yeah. point of view. I'm just wondering whether I'm going to change my mind on that. Okay. That's good. It's good I'm putting some f something forward. Yeah. Making very you think. Absolutely. You always do, Morton. I also think that Sao Yunlei is, is more injury prone of the two Chinese. Yeah. Once again, we saw nifty Matsutong just easily picking up that drop shot. No trouble. Too flat, it's gone long. Oh yeah, clearly long. Well, I think that's the longest r rally of the match so far. Yep, 89. Still a long way, though, to 147. I think I better check back on my notes, and not I? Yeah. Yeah. You, you normally have it somewhere. 148. 148. <laughs> Semi-final yesterday with the Japanese pair. Satisawa. Ah! 14, 13. Completely missed time, the return of serve. Yeah, but it was a good serve. Very, very tight. wasn't it? Yes. Such a terrific shot. But that's what, I, that's what I like to see in the future of women's doubles. I yeah. like to see shots like that because that will make an enormous difference. Yeah. If they start playing shots like that and really counter-attacking on the weaker attacking shots of their opponents, then women's doubles will change completely.
that's a nice try. Yeah, I agree with you, Morton. But when I was playing, <laughs> I don't think I ever lifted a, <laughs> like a smash, did I? No, no, you didn't. Everything mm -hmm. was a drive or a block. Yes. yes. So that the game changed. It used to be those drives and, and blocks across court on the defensive play in women's doubles. And then it all went a, a little negative. So we need to get back to the sort of style where there's aggression on the defensive play rather than just the, the need to get the shuttle back, lift it to the back, make your opponent work harder. I wanted to get on and win the rally as quickly as possible. That's why I'd, I'd use the drive. Yes, absolutely. I'm, I agree with you. Flick serve. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely awareness from Tiang Ching. Sixteen, seventeen. That was a clever smash. Mm. It was a good try. Uh, Masatomo unlucky here not to finish the rally, I think. Placement by Takahashi in the smash. turning into a, a crucial, crucial point. It must be around 100 now. Game for the record, the tournament record. <laughs> oh, that wow. is unbelievable. That was grossly unfair. <laughs> it was. It was such a good smash, wasn't it? It was. It was. That was grossly unfair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not convinced it has broken the tournament record, but it was a heck of a rally, wasn't it? It was. 130. 
And the reward, a score back level, 17 all. Seventeen oh. Wait. So thirty one minutes already. Seventeen all. Set is so eighteen seventeen. Out. 1917. Challenge. Oh, ten. Okay, no. oh, if it was yeah. a challenge, it would have been too late anyway. Yeah, yeah. We were just wanting to change the shuttle. Yeah. Misinterpretation there. 1917. Play. Masatomo is playing 17. so much better today and so much more positively. Yeah. She is. It's much, much better than yesterday. Yeah. She's looking to go forward, the opportunity. She's seeing the open spaces. Yeah, she's intercepting much better. She's really trying to play attacking shots now and again. Some good flicks here as well. See how she covers that one very well. Yeah, this is game point, of course. Good smash by Takahashi again. of asking and the number one seeds uh, Misaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Matsutomo, Takahashi Ayaka of Japan have uh, taken the opening game against the world and Olympic champions Tiang Ching and Zhao Yunlei 21-17 
Well, that to me, Morton was absolutely fascinating. I don't understand a word of Mandarin. No, no me but neither. The fact that Liu Yong stood back and just let the two players discuss, but it wasn't much of a discussion, was it? It no. was talk from Zhao Yunlei to Tiang Ching about what they should be doing. Second game. Yeah, somehow she doesn't seem to be too happy. Uh, something about the body language and the expressions and all that. Second game. So the number one seeds from Japan, one game to the good in this women's doubles final. I think that, that was a very, very good example of what I was saying. It was a fairly straight forward drop shot played, and so you lay really get late there and place it into the net. It was a very simple shot, but she got there too late. And I think there is signs in the Chinese combination yeah. team that. All is not well. All is not well. No. I think they have a, a little blame game going on. Right. Three, love. I might be wrong. No eye contact, they turned away from each other, in fact. Obviously, just like you, I have no understanding <laughs> in terms of Mandarin and, and all that, and I don't know what they're talking about. Um, but oh. somehow, I just feel that Sao Yunlei is still the captain in the team. Yeah. And somehow I think she's not happy, happy with her partner. But when you consider partner is playing 75% of the shots, and if you consider that every single time Sao Yun Lei is slightly under pressure, she gives away the initiative. Try to look at it again. That's obviously brilliant. Really good shot. But on the baseline, as soon as she's just a little bit out of balance, a little bit under pressure, she plays it clear. Yeah. So I, I don't think she can really, you know, be standing there saying, okay, why are you not playing better? Because I don't think that Tang Chang Chin is getting a lot of help from her partner. If you again look at, at who scores the points, okay. who works the hardest, who is doing what, Sao Yun Lei is hardly in the game. Mm. I know I'm very harsh here now. Yeah. But try to have a look here. You know, we can start counting shots and, and all that. Who is taking what and, and all that. See, that's, that's where she's good. 
Yeah. Very, very good. And that's that comes from the mixed doubles and all that. Yeah. Really, really good. You know, Morton, it is... I'm, I'm just reflecting on what you've just said there. Because, to me, it's so interesting because, of course, all the attention surrounds Zhao Yunlei. First player to win two Olympic gold medals at the same Olympic Games, two different disciplines. Two world titles this year in Copenhagen. Yes. And in the last tournaments, prior to the Super Series finals, the Hong Kong Open, she reached the milestone in her second final of the day, her second title of the day, of the big 5-0. 50 career titles. So, of course, everybody talks about Zhao Yunlei. And therefore, it's so fascinating to hear you talk about the qualities, actually, of her partner and how her partner is doing the right things and, and playing 75% of it, I, I think you described yeah. it. Yeah, it's I'm because obviously. we all get a little blinkered by the media attention, uh, the results, the gold medals hanging around necks and so on. And you can't ignore that. Of course you can't ignore it. She hasn't gone and won those no, 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 uh, no. gold medals and won all those 50 titles without being a first-rate player. But her partner is very, very good and perhaps doesn't get uh, the recognition that she deserves. Yeah, uh, and as a possible better women's doubles player. Yeah. And there was, uh, while we were talking, there was uh, an incident here where Zhang Qing, she was covering a drop shot for Cao Yunlei, and she really, really had to jump for it. Oh. But she managed it, and she it's saved so it for the Chinese. Is lovely. That is where she is good, isn't it? It is. Yeah. And the Japanese combination really have to stay focused now. 8-6. Mm. I think there was 6-4 up. 6-5 six, up. 6-5 up.
clear. Ah! Oh, that's landed. Oh, it's called out. Uh, uh, challenge. A challenge. Yeah. yeah. Definite. Here we go. Definite challenge. challenge. Yeah, that. Hey, and this could prove very important. Well, oh. I thought it was landing straight on, right on the line. And we've got a good view of that line from our position here. Yeah, I think that's the wrong call. Just like you. So let's see. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's in. Yeah, good challenge. Challenge successful. The challenge remains. The server, seven, eight, play. Set the server, nine, seven. She doesn't miss many of those. Eight, nine. Normally, Zhao Yunlei absolutely as safe as anything with those kills at the net. She anticipates well. Look at this. In at the right time. Yeah. yeah no wonder she shakes her head. Yeah, Max Tomo <laughs> is definitely more active, so active, hunting the shuttle at the net. Ten. She is good interception here. But try to notice this clear, this clear. Cross court, putting partner into trouble. Yes. She was in fairly good balance. She opted not to attack it or at least play a clear straight so it's coming mm. back to herself. But she's putting the pressure back onto her partner. Demo. Hey! 
Good smash. Very good smash. Wasn't the best in that so much so, was it? No, a very good smash. Yeah. So it is the World and Olympic champions who have the advantage here in the second game at the mid-game interval. And we have just one solitary point. Yeah, that is inch perfect, isn't it? Good steepness. ここから Eleven ten play. Well, in my opinion, Morton, I think that the the Japanese pair have got to keep faith with this style of play, which is considerably different, or certainly different, maybe not considerably, but different to yesterday when they're trying to get Matsutomo, as she did there, involved at the front of the court. I think if they just try and play a running game, I think it could be very difficult for them. Yeah, like that. Nice involvement from Matsutomo. 11-0. But you still are a little concerned about Xiao Yunlei. Yeah, obviously it, it will be far too much to go back into this rally but if we saw it again i i would like to Bailey. commentate it and then see how many times that tang ching is actually working and and really having to work very hard covering her partner and she did that on many occasions also for the drop shots and all that and then eventually this this one is falling between the two players and shao lei is just you know looking why didn't you take this one Mm. So, I, they, I think there's a lot of things going on. And it is, I can see, very concerning for all Chinese fans that the body language between the two Chinese players after the rally, opposite directions. Mm. 13, 11. One thing you have to do in doubles is keep supporting your partner, keep encouraging. There was a Sao Yun Lei was not following up on that one, she was just standing yeah. still, so she didn't go for the drop shot. I know according to the ranking and so on, it's possibly not an upset, but I think we have an upset yeah, on its way. Okay. I think Jap Japan has a very good chance of winning. 
Well, here's the interesting thing. The Japanese pair, number one on the Super Series ranking, number two in the world. world yes. And Tian mm -hmm. Ching and Jiao Yunlei, number one on the world rankings. Yeah. But of course, the Chinese pair are world and Olympic champions. So, so that status in itself puts them in my book as favorites. Favorites, yes. But I think we have an upset. Yes. Here, uh, the the big chances. Uh, there's so many t signs now saying that if the Japanese are really just sticking to it, they have a very very good chance of winning. <laughs> and after that marathon match of yesterday, I honestly they, they thought that 11. they were in trouble today. Yeah. Well, that's why I brought up early mm. on about how long they've been on court in yeah. comparison to their opponents. Yes. Oh, oh good save. And again. Oh. Yeah. So well, that had been a run of five straight points, so... Absolutely vital from the Chinese perspective that okay. they've won that. It's okay. Incredible defence. Thank you. 15. The server. 16 12. Turn of serve is long of the back line. 12. Japanese pair just four points away from the title. It's a good serve. Oh, that's good. Long. 18 12. Oh, what a great call by the line judge again. Just three points needed for the Japanese pair to win. The Super Series Finals. They've never won a okay, Premier right. Super Series event before. And of course, this carries the same status in the eyes of the players, even more than a Premier. <laughs> yeah, Chow Yun Lei is being outmaneuvered and outplayed. 19 Chow. Yeah, good play by Matsutomo here, really good. She's definitely been listening to me of yesterday. <laughs> 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 she, 
She is playing so much more positive badminton today. Exposing a weakness in the defence of Zhao Yunlei and the Japanese pair of Matsutomo and Takahashi on the verge of victory. But good she's trying. Yeah. Good she's trying. I agree. Well, up until that era, since the mid-game interval, when the Japanese pair were 10-11 down, they'd obviously won 10 of the last 11 points. Good flick save. Good reach. Oh. That was well played. That smash of really well played by So Yun Lei there. That defensive shot was really good. So they're planning to break the record. Oh, <laughs> third time of asking. And Matsutomo and Takahashi embrace because they have won the Destination Dubai Super Series Finals 21-17 21-14 in the second an hour and four minutes an obvious delight for the Japanese pair in their eighth final of the year they take their second super series title and it's the biggest of them all the super series finals only their fourth victory over their opponents in 13 meetings but that's what it means to win the Super Series Finals. Two straight games as well. 21-17, 21-14. Confirmation of the score, an hour and four minutes. And look how happy they are, and rightly so.
They can hardly believe it. I was just about to say that. <laughs> they can hardly believe it. Well, they have to believe it. And I have to say that they thoroughly deserved it. You were saying with the men's doubles that the Koreans deserve to win the title. The Japanese pair have deserved the women's doubles. Dubai World Super Series Finals 2014 and the women's doubles. So to the prize presentation for the women's doubles. The medals, checks and trophies will be presented by Gustav Salazar Delgado, BWF Deputy President, Mr. Theo Alexandrescu, MetLife General Manager, Golf, MetLife, and Ben Yoniyama, President of Yonex. The runners-up in the BWF Destination Dubai World Super Series Finals 2014 Women's Doubles from China, Tian Qing and Zhao Yunlei. So the world and Olympic champions have to settle for second best here in Dubai at the Super Series Finals. It was their first final as a pair in this particular competition. BWF Deputy President Gustavo Salazar Delgado. And the checks. The winners of the BWF Destination Dubai World Super Series Finals 2014 Women's Doubles from Japan, Misaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi. A ninth career title, but only a second Super Series title for the former world number ones, but number ones on the Destination Dubai list. Misaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi of Japan. My goodness, they battled and battled all the way through the tournament. 
second consecutive year that they finish the year number one on the Super Series standings. The richest prize in badminton. And the trophy will be presented by Mr. Ben Yoniyama, president of Yonex Company, and he will be mighty proud that he's handing it to Japanese players. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the BWF Destination Dubai World Super Series Women's Doubles 2014 from Japan, Misaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi. Well, seven times in Super Series events, they've had to settle for second best. And it must be an absolute delight for Matsutomo and Takahashi for only a second time to stand right on top of the podium. The Japanese pair can't stop smiling. Why not? What a tournament they've had. World Super Series Final 2014 and the women's doubles. Please give a final round of applause for our presentation party and the players. <laughs>